get your report. Point. How you doing? Jim Stolz. How you doing? How you doing? What's going on? Yeah. How you doing? Colton. Colton? Colton. Colton. Vikings have 14 patents on it. You do mold on We manufacture a, a product called... We were... <clears throat> we got to make a front end mold. Uh-huh. Uh, we were looking for like a mold really. We were just talking about... That's what I use for my carbon fiber and stuff like that. That's what... Oh, that's yeah, exactly. that's what yeah, we're... Know. That's what we're... All we've been looking for something... It works to, great. Really? Yeah. In the food grade industry, yeah. service industries, sure uh, high temperature coatings. Man, you didn't say it was yeah. like <laughs> this cool place. You didn't want to like, hey, it's a coating. Yeah. I was like, you get a lot of tire buildup, like marble yes. underneath. Yes. Tons. Put that stuff on the body. Really? So you don't get. We constantly are pulling rubber out, pounds and pounds no, of yes. rubber. Yeah. After and an end of a pain season. in the butt. Yeah, we get a half a pound. Will do that, huh? Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm telling you what. It, it, if the drag racing world knew that you had something like because we used to that stuff would just come off. So a friend of mine put it on uh, a, it wasn't the, in, an indie car, it was like the developmental series, yeah. but they put it on the cowling and everything where rubber builds up. And that's unsprung weight. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, it's it did amazing. stick. Yeah. He was like, whatever did stick, it was a hell of a lot easier to clean up than what it was before. Keeps it clean, prolongs the life of the barrel. Really? Oh, yeah. I'll be the cool shit. We have Borcoat uh, for the rotary tool mold and die industries. We sell uh, a couple different products. How long have you been here? Uh, 2014. So you just rolled 10 years. Yeah. Say hi. Well, I've been doing it a long time. Yeah. yeah. Here. When I was this facility, here, but he's like, oh, we're going over to the chemical place. I was like, okay, come over and have some I have no stuff. idea. This is crazy yeah. cool. But we, we serve a lot of different industries. Uh, rotary tool mold and die use our product to prolong the lives of the cutting blades when they're doing labeling or yeah, rubber, right. heavy duty rubber, uh, well, when they're the making molds for tires. Will eat this up, uh, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, here, let me. I actually uh, so we're rearranging a bunch of stuff. But, uh, so our product is stored under argon gas, which is in there. Uh, Pressurize, we make everything in here and dispense everything in here. And, uh, oh, that's pretty cool. Check out. Well, yeah, you can take a peek. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, we upload. Is that, like, is that like a mixing deal? Or is it just. Oh, some, some are, it depends on the product. Primarily, it'd be. Was... Oh, yeah, no, we have huge motors underneath there that use it in mission of large grain isolator. And then it mixes on the bottom. Uh, we use that tank for storage and then. Uh, once, you know, if we upload another component and mix it, want to transfer it to one of the smaller tanks for dispensing, we have the scale system. It's like semi-automatic uh, and everything's controlled by there. And then we have a little spray booth if we want to do some testing. And um, we have a spectrometer that we use for quality. It's a heck of a sort of making machine in there. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's always talking about gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's <laughs> But yeah, we have a spectrometer to where we measure uh, so what's down to the nanometer really? on all of our products, really? raw materials and everything else. So, wow. so, so you got pretty good quality control then. Oh yeah, yeah. especially there. Uh, so you got a yeah, Roman and, like and all those guys. Right, yeah, huh? yeah, they don't. How many of you guys work here? There's seven of us total. I'm on this side mainly. Jim, who you met coming in? We're, uh, we remember the name of the German company. They make all the bad and there's a lot of and I was just born to do it. Yeah, it's my fault. Yeah. I grew up racing too, so you know, I've always been working on it. Exactly, right. Exactly. Um, I've been kind of, what he did way back then worked tremendously like doing it on power plants and all that stuff. I don't even know what it took me that now. Yeah, I guess I'm not with Parker for a while. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, we just focus on the automotive side, yeah. whereas he does everything. He does aerospace, and stuff, and I got it, so he just kind of does it. It's kind of like, you guys are almost in the hot. Yeah. Yeah.
We're just a little piece of the body. I got you. Yeah, we're an cool. automotive piece. So like. So that's what we're trying to do is coat the outside to keep heat as much as we can inside the turbine. And uh, if there's kind of a hybrid situation, which wouldn't be that That's like outside. the headers and all that too. Yeah. The more we can keep the heat inside the header going to the turbo, the hotter it stays, the faster it spools, the more it works. It's all about keeping the heat inside your header going through the turbo. That's what we're, we're interested in trying is because you can be in the turbo and how far. Yeah, a lot of people wrap their headers and stuff and it just that's just kind of an ugly world. Plus it has a trap some moisture between the right. three yeah. adults. So we're trying to actually kind of like, it was kind of nice being these guys saying that the coating and the blunt holds the heat inside, which is a benefit for us, plus maybe keeping them nicer looking and being able to Make the spool better and the whole thing work better. Do you have a turbo here? No, we brought the housings. We didn't bring the turbo. But, yeah, Our focus has always been on the dissipation side. So, that's good, for us. that's good for us if you could get them cooled down, but if it stays hot, this is a, this is a good Yeah, cool. Cool. So, this is so, the side we want to keep. Cool. 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 Yeah. So if you if, like, if there you, you if you're have a dissipation cool. thing on the outside, it won't let heat get through. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's what we need. Yeah, that'll help the air intake going in be cooler. The air charge will be cooler. And this, if we keep it on the dissipation, like get rid of the heat, that's a good plus for us working around these things. They're like hot irons. Oh, yeah. If you look at. Uh, and I, you could be, I should be spot on, but everything I've ever seen when you're on a straight diameter uh, tube, the hotter it gets, the walls actually, uh, the edges. amount of air that can get through shrink because of the heat on the edges yeah. and, then, mm -hmm. and it's actually slowing down your air throughput. So if there was a way to measure and a test bed type of thing, just the heat going through, and you, even if it's not simple, where you keep it where we can figure Air out. Going through the turbo would be, yeah. that would be something interesting to figure out. So you can figure it, because then you can maintain the variables and just, so I say, okay. We got so spin my air, my up, you know, get it, all that, and now let's see what, through the turbo. Uh, and do it one at a time. Like spin it. the turbo is pushing. Well, uh, Garrett may have that information. Yes. I would imagine they'd be able to tell that. They oh, probably have Garrett, some. Like Garrett has that on. information. We just have to pull it up. See. So, the harder, the hotter it gets, the more RPM, I'm using the wrong term, maybe, you have to increase your HP in order to get the same this, amount of air to it. This is what, what the dilemma with turbo guys is, is you got to keep this side as cool as possible, which we use alcohol. On this side we need as hot as possible without melting and okay. keep the heat in. This through here needs to have as much heat through it as it can be. And then we have, well, you don't have the cold side, but it's uh, another tube that goes in. 
that you try to keep as cool as possible. So it's actually really cold when you touch it and it going in, and then this is really hot when it comes out. The problem we got too is when we get back from the race, this stuff is boiling hot. So if the heat sinks, the heat from here goes into the mode data. So what we're trying to do is keep the heat in here going in and out in these tubes. And then keep these where it dissipates the heat. So when we get back, our motor going to Something hot, and we can touch some of this stuff. Like these, like yeah, we can't touch them for oh, 30, 40 minutes. And then you can touch them. This thing, you can't touch them. So, what did you use about this? That's the tube we're talking and dissipates it all. Yeah. But I think you're going to have to touch it. Really? That has so a little bit of a swell. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's, that's what I told him. I told him like a light gray or... Do the same on the front side, the cold into the into that thing. Yeah. Then, and here is a kind of a wonky thought, but, and I don't know if it'll work, so this should be the head. If we were to mask off from here, maybe even here, and then that would be black, die bar, and then this would be polished. Black again, like uh, basically, I was trying to think of whether we do it on. You put it on the corner where you're gonna have the most heat build up, and oh, it gets pretty, pretty purple. Yeah. So, and not do it on the other one just to see if that changes any of the. It would look good. It looked pretty cool actually, and then we'll put the clear coat over the whole thing. But that dye bar may even further under this condition. You're going to be too big. We can always blast the back off, take right. it down, and get you back to whatever pace you want on it. Well, like right here, it does, these bends, is, they get like a funky color. Well, you already, like you can see, like if you look at the right angle, yeah. you can see how the, the metal is like distorted. Yeah. Yeah. If it does get hot, I'm telling you. Oh, this stuff gets hot, yeah. You can lay meat on it and cook it. That's 10 minutes after we come back. Whatever, you can make more power makers. Hi, my name is Corey Clemens. I drive King of the Jungle, aka KJ2, and I'm here to drop off my stuff as I cook. Uh, Clemens Motorsports, that's our family company where we build cars, sell cars, parts, anything, you know, racing to street driver, that's what we deal in, and that's what we do. So um, today we're dealing with Zyco. Uh, this is a new partnership that we just came up with this season. Uh, we're trying their product out on our whole racing setup uh, that's on the King of the Jungle. Um, Plan to see kind of what it does and the performance we gain from it and from what I've heard it's going to be pretty amazing. I'm looking forward to trying their stuff out. So how I got started drag racing was uh, my dad and my whole family kind of did it. So then eventually I of course stepped up and started driving. Um, but I had to get my seal of approval so I actually built my car compared to a lot of other people out there. Uh, when I was 16 years old is when we bought a car for me to start working with and from there uh, I did all my work, wiring, you know, cage, I built these headers, uh, pretty much everything on the car I did and that's where we are now, that's the KJ2 and that's kind of where we're pushing forward in, in our career, in my career, plus as a team, so looking forward to, to what the future holds. So some of the accomplishments that I've, I've achieved is, you know, I've, I've definitely went up through the ranks when it comes to, you know, as a drag racer, you, you step up through the different classes, and I've ran anything from small tire to small tire radial stuff, to big tire, and no prep, prep, anything you want to name it, so I've raced, I've gotten, so I started out in uh, junior drag racing, and then I've stepped up to like a pro street class, to super comp and all the way up now to, to radials and eventually pro mod. So that's kind of what my car is right now. It's just it's a heavy pro mod. So you know eventually we'll make that step one day and uh, go pro mod. And the goal is eventually maybe funny car or top fuel. So come on guys, we're back here at Zyco dropping off my headers, getting them all coated up for the season. Uh, looking forward to using their product. We're partnering with them this season. Uh, check out my discount code KJZyco to get a 10% discount and. Uh, Let's support these guys, they got good products.